Good afternoon, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed those uh, clips this morning. Uh, I'm finding it really easy to get up before the sun rises. Uh, Beck laid in bed a little bit longer, but I had a great time down on the beach this morning. And I had fun when I came out. Yeah. I brought the puppy dogs out like a half hour after you. And today's mission, drinking water. Lily's gonna take us to town so we don't have to carry back 11 gallons of water. Victor's family has been uh, so nice, helpful, and welcoming. It really adds to the experience. I'm not sure what this is gonna work out to, but I don't think it's gonna be much. There's all the uh, water filtration stuff. You might be wondering why my English is so good. It is very good English. <laughs> Where did you uh, learn English? I have uh, foster parents. All done. Thank you, sir. Well, thanks for running us down here. Mm, you're welcome. Okay, we're back. That didn't take long, only about 15 minutes. And if you're curious about how much we spent, uh, we filled up about 22 gallons of water when you include what uh, Victor's family got. And it was about $3, so that's not bad. Now, we're gonna give you a tour of the RV park. Well, an appropriate place to start would be a tour of our campsite. We got this nice little patio area. And if you have slides on both sides, it might be a tight fit, but if you got lucky, you could like arrange it so it kind of fit between those posts right there. Um, if it looks all wet, that's because Vaquero, one of the guys here at the park, is gonna wash and wax our motorhome while we're here. It's only gonna be like 30, 40 bucks for entire wash and wax. Can't beat that. And our site has full hookups. So we have a 30 amp and sewer and water. This area right here is just awesome for pottying the dogs, sitting out here, watching the sunrise like you've seen me doing. This right here is called a palapa, kind of like a group pavilion area. They have a swimming pool that is uh, under repair or under construction. I'm not too sure. She suggested dinner tomorrow night. Okay, we're being social. Yeah, we're gonna be social. So this is the back side of our site. And like I said, uh, if you have a slide out on this side, you're gonna need to strategically park. And I'd also recommend bringing a uh, couple extra lengths of uh, sewer hose because they're not always in the most ideal locations. This is the site we were in for our first three or four nights. Very nice. That area over there was all our own. And they also have little beach houses and Airbnbs on the property. Like most RV parks, there are different levels of sites and I don't necessarily know the price points, but I know these ones with full hookups near the beach are a little more expensive. So since I'm talking about prices, uh, it's 25 a night for the site that we have. And if you stay seven days, it drops down to 20. And I've been told that if you stay a month, the math works out to $15 a night. So it is pretty cheap to uh, live in your RV on full hookups down here. Now there are a ton of other options. I'm not saying this is the best. I'm just saying this is where we're at now. And we have been at Kiki's. Nice place, great people. But Kiki's was like, like a fraction the size of this place. Very tight, nice people, but just way too tight of a uh, campground. So yeah, it's just a very basic family run nice RV park here in San Felipe. Can't say enough about it. Um, we would not hesitate to stay here again. I also wanted to throw in that uh, you can email Victor's RV Park and Lily will respond in a very timely manner, but you need to go into it with a little bit more of a laid back mentality. Almost get on like Baja time or Mexico time, lighten up on the leashes and just put your faith in having a little bit of an adventure. Muchas gracias, vaquero. Okay, wrapping this video up. I wanted to put this out there. If you guys have any more questions that you'd like to ask, feel free to put them in the comments of this video and I'll uh, try to have a question and answer session. So thanks for watching, we'll see you tomorrow.